My name is Epi Jones. My name is Thelma, but I'm called Epi, and there's a story to that too. <laughs> but I, my husband went to high school with my cousin, and she lived over here in, in Jersey. I lived in Wilmington, and uh, I met him at my aunt's house, and we got married and moved back, came back to Salem. I, I was born in Salem, grew up in Wilmington, and moved back to Salem after we got married. We got married in 1955 because he lived here and worked here. He worked for Anchor Hawking, which is the glass factory in Salem. Worked there for 39 years, and uh, his father had worked there. His father had worked for a glass company in Connellsville, Pennsylvania, and they shut that company down, and he, they, the whole family moved to Salem so that he could continue working for a glass factory. He worked there. He would go after school in, in Salem and um, work in the mold shop. So he's really started before he graduated from high school. And his, his dad, I don't think his dad was a, a, didn't do engraving like Mally did. He, he worked in the mold shop, but I don't know. I'm not sure what he did. Jennifer might know. But um, he went after school every night and, and when he got out of high school, he went in the Marines, and he, then when he got out of the Marines, he came back to Anchor, and they gave him that time that he was in the Marines. They included that in his work time. He, was a, he, he learned to be a mold maker there, and then he, he was a full-fledged mold maker after whatever period of time it took, and uh, when he served his apprenticeship. And he worked there. He did almost all the special bottles, like somebody would want a commemorative bottle, and he would do that. And a lot of times they let him decide what the design would be. And uh, so he, he really liked his job, I think, and was good at it. Well, he was a musician. He and a very good friend of ours started singing t together and doing um, bluegrass, bluegrass gospel. And he, he sang bass and played the stand-up bass. And then they, went, they played in a church near Elmer, and they met two brothers from, Pensa, from Philadelphia. who Their name was Purdy, and they, one of them played the banjo and one played the guitar. And so they, the four of them got together, and they called themselves the King's Countrymen. I actually named them. <laughs> and uh, he, they, they went around to a lot of places and played and sang. And, and he got a, a, I have a letter from the, um, yeah, the Country Music Hall of Fame or something like that. And they, they gave him a commendation, which was nice. And uh, what else did he like? He, he was a very good gardener. And he built the house that we lived in on Bassett Road. Back then, there was a, a place in Pennsylvania called the New Deal Lumber Company. And you would go there and pick out a house, and they would sell you the pieces. And you had to put it together. And he did that on that house on Bassett Road. And we lived there for 38 years. That's when he started making door plates and belt buckles, and he, start, he started going around to craft shows, and he would demonstrate his craft, and, and people would buy, and a lot of times they would order, and he would send them, he would come bring the thing home and make whatever it was they ordered, and he would mail it to them. So he did that for a lot of years. Door plates were mostly slate. The belt buckles were brass. He did a lot of belt buckles, really nice ones. He, there's a guy that goes to, still goes to the church I go to, and he's got a belt buckle that Mally made with his initials on it. But he made a belt buckle for um, Tom Jones. He didn't meet Tom Jones himself, but somebody ordered one to give to him, and we saw him wearing the belt buckle on television sometime after that. And we did one for, we, he did one for Walter Cronkite. And uh, Walter Cronkite ordered several for different members of his family. So that was kind of neat.
meant everything to him. He he just was always busy in the shop doing something. And in fact, he also painted. He painted that picture that's up there. And I think there's one over here he painted. And he 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 just enjoyed being creative. He was he was in the shop all the time. I mean, he would just be out there all the time and and when when we lived in on Bassett Road, he we had a full basement and he had a shop there. And when we lived in Pennsville, we had a little building beside the house and he had a shop there. So when we moved here, we got the the shop building so he would have a place to work because he just wanted to be working all the time. <laughs>